Hey, welcome back to the news tonight here on IFIA TV, it's the discussion segment. My name is Alex Obodo. So the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipor Namdekano, is seeking to negotiate with the Nigerian government to drop the treasonable felony charges against him. This, of course, was made known through his lawyer, uh, Mr. Aloy Ejibako, who informed the judge, Bintayako, that his client was seeking to dialogue with the federal government to see how they will negotiate with him so they can drop the charges. And I uh, would like to get more insights on this and to see whether this is something exactly that is welcome. Is this cheering news for those who want Namdekano to be free at last? I'm joined tonight here on the news by Comrade Iboke Onyebuchi. He is the program coordinator of the Advocacy Partnership for Good Governance, APAC. Thank you so much, Comrade uh, Iboke Onyebuchi, for joining me tonight on the news. Thank you for having me, Mr. Alex. So I'm, I'm sure when you heard that uh, uh, Namdekano is making a move to negotiate out of court set settlement with the federal government, did it come to you as cheering news? Or was it something you took with, uh, with a pinch of salt? Well, thank you, Mr. Alex. Um, to me, I'm indifferent about um, seeking uh, for out of court settlement or political settlement, depending on what. Um, Are you still there, uh, Comrade uh, Iboke Oyebuchi? I see he was just trying to make a point there. Uh, referred, of course, uh, Namdekano's lawyer referenced a section of the Federal High Court Act. He said, uh, in any proceeding, the court may promote reconciliation among parties and encourage and facilitate amicable uh, settlement thereof. He said, of course, the defense lawyer introduced the issue while moving an application objecting to the court's jurisdiction to try the IPOB leader who appears in court from the State Security Service custody in Abuja. Uh, the lawyer, Mr. Jumako, explained that his client would pursue an out-of-court settlement route if the court rejected his application challenging the court's jurisdiction. He has, uh, he has he said that he discussed the position or proposition of the prosecuting counsel, Adebo Yega Awomolo, a senior advocate of Nigeria, According to the defense lawyer, the prosecutor told him to defer the discussion for a future time. So I, I don't know whether Comrade uh, uh, Iboke Onyebuchi is back, so we can have him. If not, we'll take a very quick break to reestablish a link with him and continue the conversation here on the news tonight. Stay with us. Welcome back to news tonight. Apologies for the, the technical hiccups, but uh, we have... Uh, Comrade uh, Iboke Oyebuchi on the line, and uh, he was trying to make a point. You, you said you were indifferent about the development, so uh, kindly expand on that. Yes, because the, 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 what I was trying to say was that um, it, it, I was expecting federal government to have initiated this particular move, you know, because I believe that is the federal government that really have issue with Namdekano, not the other way around, not in Namdekano having issue with the federal government. So I expected neither the political um, settlement nor out of court settlement, as the case may be, should have been initiated by the federal government, political settlement. Another thing is that what is the place of the Igbo organizations, like Ohaneze and Igbo stakeholders? Uh, just be mindful of uh, what happened in the time past before the invasion of uh, or the arrest of Nam Dekano previously. Or uh, when they released him, when they granted him bail. Remember, the likes of Engineer Abaribe was one of the shorties. And uh, there was condition and terms that was, um, that was part of the bail they granted him. Which, if I could remember, him being in a gathering um, of more than 15 persons was one of the bell conditions which he read and signed but when he came out you, you saw him uh, doing like um, a, a tour to different uh, states in the southeast then there was also a meeting with the uh, southeast governor's forum then that he attended and um, you know in all transits in a struggle like this now i think he's also 
understanding some skills. You know, he's a wonderful person, but now he's understanding that this issue is not a personal issue, it's a collective issue. Because if he aligned and was able to convince most of our political leaders, instead of, uh, you know, always antagonizing them, to see reasons with him that it will benefit every South Easterner if we can unite and pursue this objective as a common, our common goal. Now, the other, that, those people, the political leaders, or even the Igbo uh, Cultural Association like Ohaneze, would have been the ones, you know, bringing this to the federal government, trying to initiate this engagement with the federal government. But for him and his lawyer to be initiating this, I doubt if it's going to bear the, the needed result for him. Because he shouldn't be the one that will be extending his hand for political settlement or out of court settlement. I think they would have done it either influencing Ohaneze or any other uh, Igbo uh, cultural organization or cultural group to begin to initiate and engage government around this, um, his intentions. Or the political stakeholders, like the Southeast uh, Governors Forum. Uh, if they can be able to uh, seize this opportunity, I'm calling on the Southeast Governors Forum to seize this opportunity, you know, to build more and um, influence the federal government to dialogue with them, the canon, and see how they will begin to uh, make amends and also look at um, uh, Francis and also begin to look at the issue of Igbo marginalization because nobody can deny that in the present arrangement. The Igbos are highly marginalized. All right. I mean, uh, you, you, you've made that point and I, unfortunately it looks like there's another snag with uh, Comrade Igbo Konyebuchi's uh, network and we'll have to thank him so much for his contribution. Of course, uh, you should be reading Nam De Kano 6 out of court settlement just for my friends out there in the MCR, not Nam De, because uh, my colleague here is named the Nam De, so we don't confuse that. <laughs> so uh, I think we'll have to, this is where we'll have to drop their anchor on the discussion. That's the news tonight. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex. Over to have yourself a lovely night rest. Good night. <laughs>